My name is Mercedes Frias. Uh, I'm getting um, my uh, Bachelor's of Science in Psychology. Uh, so I grew up in, well, I was raised in foster care starting from um, the age of 10. Mm -hmm. I grew up in a physical, a physical abusive home um, as well as mentally abusive. Once I was kicked out of the foster care system, I was kind of left on my own. Mm -hmm. So uh, I met a mentor and she was able to kind of guide me into where I'm at now. And then I met people along the way, such as, you know, Gina and everyone else that has been there for me um, at this school. So that kind of helped me a lot. And this, you know, Romeo has been there for me too. What got me on the path to college was just wanting to be different from everyone else in my family. I wanted to be someone and do something with my life. I wanted to be able to support myself and I wanted to be able to support the people who have been there to support me. A lot of obstacles that I faced while applying to CSUN um, was just myself. I wasn't motivated to do it and uh, I, I procrastinated and I missed a lot of deadlines and luckily I met the right people who were able to get help me, you know, get around so EOP has been pretty much like my second family to me. I've been able to go there and just feel comfortable and learn not only about like how to handle my experiences, but also to be able to interact with people who have experienced the same things that I have. It has made me stronger and feel like I can um, achieve and accomplish anything. It has also made me want to connect with the community of foster youth. I want to thank everyone for being there because, like I said, I wouldn't have, I don't think emotionally I would have been able to continue. And people such as Gina have been there and I've had, you know, my biggest breakdowns where I just like felt like I wanted to give up everything. But I knew that I can go to people. And like one time, um, Gina was there and she listened to me for two hours. You know, just knowing that EOP is not just a program there, but they're your family. So yeah, I got to hear you guys, sorry. <laughs>